Shalom. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Waha Rukak Wadash, Barakatam Akim Salakyu. All right, I'm going to go into the book of Acts. I'm going to speak about um, remembering the account of Stephen. All right. Since we're coming into those days where we're going to have to give testimony unto individual enemies, you know, uh, uh, stand in the council of men to these courthouses and things of that nature and... <laughs> And we're going to have to give a testimony of our faith. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So I just want to um, just go into uh, the account of Stefan. And this might be more than one video, you know. But I'm going to start here on Acts chapter 6, verse 8. And, and Stefan, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. Then there arose, then there arose certain of the synagogue which is called the synagogue of the Libertines and the Cyrenians and the Alexandrians and of them of Cilicia and of Asia disputing with Stephen or Stephen. All right. So Stephen was selected by the apostles. All right. Um, and he was, uh, he was a man of full of faith of the Holy spirit, man, you know, and he was witnessing, you know what I'm saying? He was out there on the streets uh, bearing witness, you know, to his people. And then, of course, you got demons that want to come up, these different people that have these different philosophies and doctrines, and they want to try you out, and they want to put their their philosophies, their doctrines to the test uh, up against uh, Stephens, Stephens, or Stephens, just the way they do to us here in this time, you know? So I want to look up that word, Stephen, his name, real quick in the Hebrew. All right, just so we can have um, some insight on what his name means. All right, so I'm going to go to the uh, outline of biblical usage. It says Stephen equals crowned. All right, one of the seven deacons in Jerusalem at, at the first uh, Christian martyr and the first Christian martyr, Salakia. All right, so that's what his name means. It means uh, crowned or crowned. All right. So you got these individuals coming from these different uh, or coming with these different doctrines that were uh, from the different parts of the earth all over there on that side, man. You know, the Alexandrians from over there in Africa, you know, um, in the land of Egypt. Uh, you got the the Libertines, you know, which were men that uh, just basically they were like considered free men you know it's like here in, in our time we have uh what they call free spirits free thinkers you know it's basically what those those men were you know the Cyrenians is is you know over there in that part of africa as well so they all came with their own doctrines you know and of them of sicilia and of asia you know uh disputing with stephen so they were you know con contesting with with the with stephen or stephen Stephen, um, regarding the the uh, his faith, all right. So I went into that word uh, disputing, and here right here at the outline of biblical usage says to seek or examine together in the New Testament to discuss dispute question. So I'm gonna go down here to the Strong's definition. It says to investigate jointly, that is discuss. Controvert, cavil, or and dispute with, inquire, question with, reason together. All right, so they came up to um basically contend with him, you know, just to have a dispute. I'm gonna look up that word, uh, cavil, if, that, if I'm pronouncing it right. It says make petty or unnecessary objections. They they cavilled at the cost. See, so the basically they're just being some damn devils, you know, scoffers, mockers, you know, uh, belittling Stephen, 
you know, of his of his full of his power and his his his, full, his faith that he had, and they saw him as as being a joke, you know. It's like the scriptures say. Um, before I continue on further, there. Um, let me pick up this one real quick. Like I said, it's, it's probably gonna be uh more than one uh, video on this. All right, um, let me find it real quick, brothers. All right. So this is 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. It says, For I think that Yahweh has set forth us, the apostles, last, as they were appointed to death. See, and, and if you know the account of Stephen, that's exactly what he um, received. For his faith, you know, for for being bold and courageous, you know, as a lion before the face of those that hated hated him, that uh, objected or rejected the, the wisdom, knowledge and understanding. You know, they despised them. So it says, for I think that Yahweh has sent forth us, the apostles last as it were appointed to death, for we are made a spectacle unto the world. And to angels and to men, right? So I'm gonna look up that word spectacle, because that's what exactly Stephen was being made as a a, a, a spectacle unto men. All right. It says the outline of biblical usage, a theater, a place in which games and dramatic spectacles are exhibited, and a public assembly is held. For the Greeks used the theater as, as also as a forum. A public show, metaphor, a man who is exhibited to be gazed at and made sport of. You see? So these people were making a sport of of Stefan, man. You know, this, this was there, it was a game to them. It was a, 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 as if it was uh, comical. Now, realizing that it was this was a serious thing and it was so serious that they touched his own life, man. But he was crowned immediately uh, with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So here at the Strong's definitions, it says a place for public show theater uh, that is example or general audience room by implication a show itself figuratively a spectacle a theater. All right. So it's like in the Greek it says the 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 atron. Strong's G, 2302. Theatron. Theatron. All right. Which is theater, man. You know? So, let me go back. Starting at uh, verse 10, it says, We are fools for Yahweh Shai and Hamashiach's sake, but but ye are wise in Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Uh, we are weak, but ye, ye are strong. You are honorable, but we are despised. And that's exactly what... uh. Uh, Stephen was he was despised but yet he was honorable all right and that's exactly what his name means is to be crowned to be crowned means you're you you you're honorable you were received you were given a uh, received honor all right verse 11 even unto this present hour we both hunger and thirst and are naked and are buffeted and have no certain dwelling place and labor working with our own hands being reviled we bless being persecuted. We suffer it, and 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 uh, Stephen he didn't retaliate. You know he he dealt with whatever was uh, he was uh, about to uh, experience. All right, which will probably be on another video of the account of Stephen, but that's exactly what happened. Verse thirteen: Being defamed, we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world, and are the and are the offscoring of all things unto this day. Right, and it's just like you know the uh, in Wisdom of Solomon chapter two, where it talks about how uh, the wicked we're gonna examine the man, this man, this righteous man, this poor righteous man that had this truth and that proclaimed himself as the, as the son of the Most High. All right, and that uh, rebuked them of their uh, their offenses of the law, you know. So they wanted to test him. They wanted to examine him. That's exactly what they did to Stephen. 
And that's exactly what's going to happen with us, some brothers, you know, if not all, a, a majority of them, you know. Well, I don't know. We don't know how it's all going to play out. All right. We just know things are going to happen a certain way, according to the scriptures. All right. So I'm going to go back to Acts chapter six. All right. And uh, at verse nine said disputing with Stephen. So it says here in verse 10, and they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. You know, they weren't able to um, Let me look up that word resist. You know, they knew what he was saying was real. They knew what what he, uh, you know, what he was talking about was. Uh, was. Um, you know, able was was making them to believe, man, you know, they was like, damn, you know, he's making sense, you know. So right here for the outline of biblical usage to set oneself against to withstand, resist, oppose to set against. So they weren't able to to to. Uh, set themselves against what he was speaking, you know. But eventually, that those demons hop on them, you know, and then they—that's what it causes them to uh, to to act like that. It says, verse eleven. Then they uh, suborned men, which said, "We have heard him speak blasphemous, blasphemous words against Moses and against Yahweh." You know, so they they instead of them, they 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 summon certain men. To come and uh, bear false witness on them, man. You know, which is what's gonna happen. They did that to Yahweh Shai when Yahweh Shai was up in the uh, before the council of the uh, uh, you know of the fair, the wicked Pharisees. You know, they were bringing up false uh, false witnesses coming up. Uh, you know, you know, giving false testimonies. You know, and one of them even struck him in the face. Because he responded a certain way to the, uh, uh, to the, uh, forget his name, Ananias, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Uh, the, the high priest. All right. So that's exactly, they, they, that's how these people work, man. Verse, uh, 12. And they stirred up the people and the elders and the scribes and came upon him and caught him and brought him to the council you know so that that and that's the thing man when this word either break you or make you man all right it's either gonna uh make you meaning that it's gonna bring you to life because the script scriptures say that the lord's word is as a uh as a quickening spirit and his words that he speak they are spirit and they are life so it's either gonna make you you know live you know but in the sight of 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 the, the world we, it, it, it's as if we die or it's going to make you uh so it's a, or it's either going to break you meaning that you're going to just be corrupt and then we're going to look at you as you being bugged out as you being a damn demon you know so They brought him up to the council. So going back, going to verse 13 and, and set up false witnesses, you see, which said this man ceased not to speak blasphemous words against his holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Yahweh Shai, that Yahweh Shai of Nazareth shall destroy this place and shall change the customs which uh, Moses delivered, delivered us. And all that sat in the council, looking steadfast on him, saw his face as it had been the face of an angel. You know? So they were bearing false witness. And, and, and Ste Stephen, he was full of, of the spirit, man, and, and power. You know, he wasn't of any, uh, there was no guile found in his mouth. He knew that. And the spirit was verifying that with him in that time. That's why he could stand in, 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 in such great boldness, man. You know? And also his face shone because of this. Let me find it real quick. This is Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. Who was as this wise man? 
and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing. A wise man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. All right. So it was uh, Stephen was changed. His face was changed because he had this with the spirit on him, man. All right. Yahweh Shai's spirit was upon him because he was full of wisdom. You know, which wisdom is the spirit, the Holy Spirit, man. It says, and all that sat in the in the council looked steadfastly on him, saw his face as it had been the face of an angel, which we know Stephen was a messenger. Where the word angel means messenger, so men can be um, messengers, or or a, a man can be labeled an angel. Why? Because he brings glad tidings, and that's exactly what he did. But they rejected it. How beautiful are are his feet? You know, and, and, and Stefan's feet were beautiful. Why? Because they were, uh, 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 uh he had those, those, those shoes upon his feet. Uh, let me, hang on, let me see, uh, there's one I was going to bring out real quick. I believe it's in Romans 10. Gone, right? I'm gonna read this one. I know it's in the Old Testament, but uh, I'm gonna bring this one out in Romans 10. And uh 15. And now, and how shall they preach except they be sent? You know, that's what the word apostle means to be sent out or sent away. As it is written, How beautiful are the feet! Of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. And that's what he was doing. He wasn't doing nothing, man. He wasn't uh, doing anything, man. He was just cutting these wicked Pharisees and scribes, you know. Showing how they're a bunch of hypocrites. You know, and how the law wasn't going to save you. But you had to change the inner man. You know, you can do all these customs and traditions but that that ain't that don't mean nothing in the sight of Yahweh Shem Yahweh The Most High requires a, a a broken and contrite spirit, a humble spirit. All right, that 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 is free of of, of iniquity. Verse sixteen. But they have not all obeyed the gospel, for Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. So, in order to be made a, a prey. In, in this world, to be in order to be a prey in this world, you have to uh, confess and bear witness to truth, man. You have to open your mouth, confess the truth. You know. That's how you know who who people are by you hearing by their speech, who that what they're about. All right. So, but as it said in verse sixteen, but they have not obeyed the gospel. That's right, because it's not meant for everybody. You know, it's only for a select few. All right. <clears throat> so let me go back. I lost that scripture that I wanted to bring out. There was another one. <clears throat> but uh, as it said in verse 15, and all that sat in the council looking steadfastly on him, saw his face as it had been the face of an angel. You know, so. Uh, Stephen, you know, he was uh, a blessed man that had the wisdom and knowledge and understanding upon him, man. And the spirit of Yahweh Shai rested upon him. You know? And it was going to be to his glory. You know, he he, he was a man. With, like I said, he, he he didn't have no God in his mouth. So he, he, he could stand in that boldness. You know? He was... Uh, uh, he, the, 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 the spirit was confirming it in, in his spirit. That everything was alright. But not to fear them. You know? So, hey man, I want, I'm gonna continue on the same. Um, uh, remember the remembering the account of Stephen, you know, on, on other parts of video, on a different part, you know, on another video, you know. But I just wanted to bring this first uh, segment out, you know, because it's a beautiful account what Stephen went through, you know, and uh, like I said, he was the one of the first uh, martyrs, you know. So 
<clears throat> I want to continue on this in chapter 7, but I'm going to end it with this for now. So stay tuned, Akium. You know what I'm saying? This is just an example. And just remember.